You can read fault codes from your car with OBD11 simply by pressing this scan button. Now it will go ahead and scan all control units that you have in your car. On this Audi A3 I have 15 control units. See now it is scanning second of 15 units. It is already letting me know that I have some fault in the engine. Which I am of course aware of because I have my check engine light on. If you have some ABS control light showing up or beeping it is completely normal to see when your OBD11 scans the ABS control module so you have nothing to worry about and this scan is not that fast but it will go through all control units so you have full scan of your vehicle now here are the 15 control units if you have something more complex like Audi A8 or a newer model like 2020 you can easily have 50 control units so the scan would take even longer and it also displays the battery voltage so you know if it is safe to leave the scanner running or if you should start up the engine you can also have engine running while scanning default codes it doesn't matter okay and this scan is complete now it says three faulty control units which means that i have one or multiple faults in three different control units out of all 15 control units so you can press the button and see which control units does store faults and you can see it by this green button this is control units number so air conditioning is number 8 these are these numbers are same for control units in multiple models so number 8 will be air conditioning even in Octavia Passat and all the other VAG models. If the number is green, there are no faults. We have default in driver door, which will probably have something to do with the broken window regulator. You can see those codes by clicking on the image, go to faults, and yes, there is default code, motor for a window lift, driver side. You can also go ahead and delete those codes. This particular code cannot be deleted simply because the regulator is still broken, so the fault has to just reappear again. Next we have fault in immobilizer and the engine, so let's check those. Control module faulty. Fault is static, that means it also cannot be erased. Not sure what is wrong. And then we can check the engine, go to faults, and we have P0420, which is code for catalytic converter being inefficient. That one I think we will be able to erase but still I know that I have to look into my catalytic converter it can be either catalytic converter is wrong maybe one of the oxygen sensor is wrong or maybe the throttle body is dirty I don't know I will take a look at it later now when you come back you can just hold this button and it will erase all faults that can be erased still two faulty control units because the code for immobilizer and the code for the window cannot be erased since it is ongoing fault. The code for catalytic converter can be erased but will probably come back very soon when I start the engine and drive the car. For now I got rid of this check engine light which should disappear when I start the car. Check engine is gone but probably will come back very soon if I don't fix the problem. 